started. All right, boom. All right, Mr. Black Knight, what do you got for me today? All right. IGN dropped a new video sponsored by NVIDIA about GeForce Now. So, um, oh, yeah. they pulled, yes, they pulled in us <laughs> and went over exactly what GeForce Now is all about. Of course. All right, uh, let's see what, how, uh, how IGN looks at this. Uh, yeah. We'll Lay it see. on me. With NVIDIA GeForce Now, you can play PC games on devices you already own at up to 4K resolution and 120 FPS. If that sounds right up your street, here's what you need to know about NVIDIA GeForce Now. GeForce Now is a cloud gaming service. In short, that means... Now, before we, before we get into this, this is not sponsored by NVIDIA, okay? Just, oh. just letting you know. Just letting you know. Is it, is it not? No, nope. this video is not. It runs your games remotely and streams them to your device via the internet. All of the processing, the stuff that needs a powerful PC tower to run today's games, is done by NVIDIA. That's how GeForce Now can bring high-performance PC games to a range of devices, such as your phone or tablet. So long as you've got a healthy internet connection, you could be playing on your laptop on your lunch break, out in the garden on your MacBook, or just laying on the sofa using your handheld. Just install the GeForce Now app on your compatible device, and you could be playing with the 4K visuals and 120 FPS frame rate of an RTX 4080 graphics card, which is a lot of jargon to say it gives your existing devices high-end PC power without needing the PC. But for any gamer, the big question is always going to be, what can you play on it? Connect your existing game store accounts from Steam, Epic Games, Xbox, GOG, Battle.net, and Ubisoft, and you can stream your compatible games via GeForce Now. Streaming your games also means they're ready and waiting without download time or installations, and they won't be taking up huge chunks of your hard drive. Over 1,800 games are compatible with GeForce Now, with more added regularly. If that's enough to give you choice anxiety, you aren't alone. So here are some of our top picks available to play through GeForce Now. All right, so, I mean, top picks is great, but, you know, uh, we'll... <laughs> There are a number of different games that are not on GeForce Now that everybody's going to be looking for. And uh, we have our top 10 picks that need to come to GeForce Now right here. Looking to play a beautiful AAA blockbuster? Play Cyberpunk 2077 and experience it with high graphical fidelity and full ray tracing thanks to GeForce Now's processing power. Experience the game everybody's talking about and craft your own adventure in a fantasy world in the sprawling Dungeons & Dragons epic Baldur's Gate 3. If you like grouping up with friends, try a multiplayer titan like Fortnite or its family-friendly survival mode Lego Fortnite. Or if you've got a need for speed, there's Forza Horizon 5. Or maybe you prefer a more competitive multiplayer experience? Well, the likes of Overwatch 2 and Counter-Strike 2 have you covered. I mean, those are all solid picks. I mean... If you're looking for free to play, this is this is it. But um, and it's up to date, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely yeah, it's definitely up to date. I'm surprised I didn't mention Genshin either. Um, that these are top picks, so, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But um, uh, but really, if they really want to get the benefits out of GeForce Now, like the best benefits, you will pay for a, a at least at least a um, priority subscription. Like, don't think yeah, you're gonna sure. go in in this for free and be blown away because their free tier is free for a reason. It sucks for a reason for, for a many like top tier games, triple a games. The free tier is not where you want to be. Go yeah, priority. You said this is a, uh, this video was not sponsored by NVIDIA. I know. Right it's now, the, yeah, I know it is sponsored all the good by NVIDIA. stuff and uh, all the good stuff. And I, none of the I haven't bad. seen a single negative yet, brother. <laughs> I know not a single negative. And if you're looking for a full review of the, of the, Plus, uh, you know, positives and negatives on GeForce Now. Here's our full review right here. We go into all the details. For sure. GeForce Now is simple to set up on any compatible device, making it ideal for when you're away from your home rig or if you want to try PC gaming with maxed out graphics and ray tracing. Install the GeForce Now app on the device you'd like to play on via the GeForce Now website or your device's app store and sign up for an NVIDIA GeForce account. To start playing, connect your game store accounts to sync your game libraries to your NVIDIA account. Select the game you'd like to play and away you go. Exact system requirements will vary depending on your desired output quality and device. But across all devices, NVIDIA recommends at least 15 megabits per second download for 720p resolution at 60fps and 25 megabits per second for 1080p at 60fps. Less than 80 milliseconds of latency from an NVIDIA data center is required with the best experience at less than 40 milliseconds. You 
So, like, they totally didn't... I I want 50 megabits per second download speed for 4K. They totally forgot about 4K. They so, did. minimum 35. They forgot. That's minimum for 4K <laughs> for the <laughs> ultimate tier. But I, I recommend <laughs> 50. I know. I'm just laughing. I'm, I'm remembering the, the good old days of 14 on Boostroid. Ah, uh, yeah, Boostroid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that won't fly anymore. That can't fly. Yeah, yeah it's really bad. I'm, I was just laughing at that. No, um, this is... Mr. Black Knight, are you are you showing me a video where... But they've got the information like correct. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. This is this is pretty correct. Think, other than the fact that they they miss ultimate. Instead of showing me some video where they just cobbled it together and and made some broad opinions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was sponsored. Remember? Ah, I'm just saying the information is actually good here. <laughs> well, I guess when it's sponsored. Just changing it up on me. Usually you're showing me something where it's just something questionable. It's a questionable. It sucks right off the box. <laughs> it's cloud. It sucks. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 80 milliseconds. Uh, yeah, 80 milliseconds latency. I would even I would even bother with late 80 milliseconds. Like, <laughs> what's the play? 40 or less is definitely better. 40 <laughs> is again, definitely, it, like, 40... It depends uh, on the game. I know, yeah. it does like, depend on the game. You can play with 200 if you're going to do Baldur's Gate. Like, yeah, that's true. Cares, but... That's true. Um, but if you're going to do FPSs, like, 10 to 20... Uh, 10 to 25. I play at 25 at, at our usual data center. But, yeah, 25 is usually what we get. And I usually get pretty good response uh, times. Yeah, that might be a video worth making at some point is a, a breakdown of what your genre is and uh, what your reasonable setting should be. You know, that's not a bad idea for different types of games. Yeah. Yeah. For great latency. For for latency, depending on where you are and what data uh, data center you're connected to, what you should expect. Yeah, that's we not a bad idea. We always get that question. Can we- I, can I, can I play this? Can I do this? Is it worth it? And the answer is always... What games are you playing? How far away are you? What are you What are you dealing with? Right. It, what it device varies. you're on, and how is your internet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All so. those are factors. Whatever appeals to you, the freedom, the flexibility, the low entry point, or the performance power, there's a package for everyone. Want to give cloud gaming a shot to see what all the fuss is about? You can try out NVIDIA GeForce now, well now, with the free membership. Priority membership strikes a perfect balance between quality and value where you can enjoy up to 1080p 60fps gameplay on all your compatible devices. Gamers who want the highest performance should opt for Ultimate. It unlocks the highest possible graphical quality, up to 4K 120fps, or 1080p 240fps, using a GeForce RTX 4080 rig. Also, this this includes ultra wide screens. Don't forget, ultra wide screens up to 120 FPS. Ultimate members can also play in 1440 120 FPS on supported Android devices. Priority and Ultimate members can both take advantage of features such as real time ray tracing for increased graphical fidelity, Nvidia Reflex to reduce latency, and ultra wide resolution in supported titles, even on mobile, including Baldur's Gate 3 and Cyberpunk 2077. There's a bunch of flexible options available too. Visiting your lovable family technophobe who doesn't own so much as an egg timer? Get yourself a day pass for ultimate or priority and take your favorite games with you. So, I mean, they mentioned it. They, they mentioned, even they even kind of went out of their way to mention that you can't do 4K without uh, a proper graphics card by saying that Android's limited to 1440. Yeah, but I mean, I you... I didn't get that from from this video alone. That, I mean, that's like specific well, I know, details. But I'm just amused that like, oh, uh, I I actually like the video. I'm just they they managed to frame everything in the most positive way possible. Well, yeah, like. it's sponsored. <laughs> Let's take a look at the um the comments here. I had to make a comment, of course. Uh, what yeah. they don't tell you is, <laughs> what they don't tell you is that there's a waiting list every time you want to use it, and when you don't, and when you do get it, it's limited to one to four hours. Well, for the free tier, it's yeah. one hour. Yeah, okay. They omitted a lot of. Oh yeah, a lot, of, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Again, check out our. They didn't even screenshot uh, like the tiers, did they? Where it says that. No, 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 no. The video, they did they? not. They put their own stuff up. 
I think um, a lot of the a lot of the people who use GeForce now in the comments, uh, they know their stuff. They know their okay. stuff. Yeah. I Still can't. need to buy the games, but they did mention that your own game library. Yeah. Anywhere, only where you have a strong Wi-Fi signal. He's not wrong. Ooh. Wired from your router is the best way. Absolutely. That's correct. Yes, Ethernet is is your ticket to uh, great streams. <laughs> not gonna lie. Yeah, see, now that's another big one. My Apple buddy's been playing on PC games with me for years. It's a great service. Yes, getting around that technical wall is a great, great use of cloud. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah, if it's, I mean, if you if it's supported, you know, the game that you were looking to play, yeah, mm -hmm. getting around that, yeah, totally. What is this sorcery? Yeah, <laughs> if you don't understand <laughs> how it works. All it is is streaming your game, just like Netflix is streaming your movies. That's right. A lot more technical and a lot more um, demanding, though. Yes. Especially with the input and all that stuff. The headline should read, How to enjoy some games everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair, yes. <laughs> how to enjoy some games anywhere. It's more like how to enjoy some games some, some places. Some places with, with internet. Wi-Fi <laughs> or good internet. Yes. <laughs> yeah hell divers 2 is not available yes yep hey ah. see? see and he's right because sony pulled their games from the service yet the ga the game publisher has to allow the game to be used on it of course this means sony has allow not allowed the it on the, uh, his, this means sony has not allowed it their game uh, yeah i had a feeling he's <laughs> He put it wrong, allowed it. Well, I'm gonna read it the exactly. Service. This just means Sony <laughs> has not allowed it their game on the service. Yes, Got it. I thought I was reading it wrong, but no, I was reading no, it perfectly you, you right. Had it right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sony pulled their games. They don't want it on GeForce now. They hopefully they can get that you know situated. But I have a feeling, you know, Sony wants um, to, their own service. Just they also their... like Sony gonna be Sony. They, I know. Hell Divers Two is absolutely killing, killing it. it killing it still killing it still and killing it when sony has any any w's they make sure they hand out some l's to everyone else yeah totally does it give you crazy lag input or not like this is the loaded the loaded question we were just talking about so uh, not at all it works like a charm i guess that, that all depends on your internet your device how far you are from the server all of that is a factor. Yeah. It might work for some, but if you're in the boonies and you, you have bad internet and you're like far from a server or in Canada, as we found out. Well, if you're, if you're in the Yukon, <laughs> Yukon I don't think you're going to have a you're great You're going to have, you're gonna have some problems. So not available in many countries like Pakistan. Yeah. Um, here, I'll throw up the current um, servers. Right now. Yeah, with GeForce now. Yeah, get, get that map up. Yep, here's the map. Sa same to Stadia claims, which is not really fair because this has been out before Stadia and and the model is completely different because you own your own games. And with this, met with this method, it's been proven to work. Yeah, Modular it's games, a that's mostly true. It's, it, it is case by case and very rare to mod stuff. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. The hard part is once you add mods, and this happens with every game, is now the mods are causing problems, and then people submit troubleshooting, and then their response is always disable your mods <laughs> when there's troubleshooting. Right. It's just, it opens a can of worms. Yeah, with user-based mods, you can't, you can't determine whether it's going to be a good mod or not. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure, you know... NVIDIA is really on top of keeping bugs out of their service, yes. you know, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we've seen through other services that are similar, like especially Boostroid, that it's it's finicky. Updates can break games, yep. and if you're not on top of it, um, allowing modding just... Yeah, makes it makes it, it even worse. Harder. Yeah, it makes mm -hmm. that even troubleshooting anything even worse. Yeah. Now, if you're going to mod your games, you, you always want to recommend any kind of PC rental services, you know, your Shadow, your maximum settings that kind of stuff you're going to get your mods going with that yes yeah, shadow actually is a lot more is pushing it or complicated yes shadow pushes it 
uh, they even yeah. they had a hell a whole video on it and I, I added into my uh, review and they well it's one of their strongest it's, features yes it's one of their strongest the features mm -hmm. I can't it wait to my <laughs> my phone to turn into a hot pizza roll actually it's yeah it's just like bad. watching YouTube it's, it's actually it's the opposite uh, yeah, be, just because bit. you're streaming the game your 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 phone does not handle the processing of the game. That, that yeah, it's only a little bit more intense than streaming YouTube. It's, that's right. It's fine. That's right. Anywhere but India, not available in India. Yeah, everybody in India wants it. India. Um, if you, Except India, India, if you want it, do it through VPN. We have a deal for the VPN. Yeah. Check it out. You will get it through. You can yeah. you can get GeForce Now through a VPN. Link in the description. But again, that's going to boost your latency. Yes, it will. Uh, it, so you will have more latency. But you know what? Actually, I take that back. For some people, depending on the VPN and where they access their VPN, some people have reported that they get less latency. It's a, probably because the the tubes are faster. Like it's maybe you're probably right. VPN, yes. and then the VPN has a fiber connection to yes, the server. Yes, the pipes like, are yes. faster. That makes sense. That makes that's sense. my guess. So it, it's possible, but it's it's unlikely. But you're you're not wrong. It's absolutely possible. Yeah, X Cloud is better. No, <laughs> it's not. You pay for X Cloud, the free version maybe. It might be better than the free version, but not the paid version of GeForce Now. Not even close. And this is one of our subscribers. Shout out. Hey. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> and that's about it. Last last thoughts? I don't know. Um, no, just just reiterating what you from before. I'm I'm surprised you gave me a video that was uh accurate even if it was uh sponsor advertisement and only <laughs> only pushing the good features with none of the bad they probably should have turned off uh comments on this video if they wanted to <laughs> keep that uh keep the dark parts a secret there yeah but i mean overall, they uh, omitted a lot of the they did basic stuff yeah i mean they they, they did they did a decent job i mean for their for a, a four minute overview they got it. No, it's, a, it's it's a reasonably good for if, if I was paid to make an advertisement, I couldn't have done much better. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, guys, that's it. The link to the original video is in the description. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next React video.